All right, so we're returning to the weapon. Um, let's go inside our weapon first and see what we have. So we're kind of missing something. We are also missing it from the interactable, and that's the reason why it's missing from the weapon. And that's uh, information about uh, the um, interactable info we're missing. So uh, we're going to create that first, so we have access to that information. We'll call this uh, interactable info, and that will be of type actable info. So if you recall from last time, uh, interactable info, if I just drag this one in really quickly, it has uh, a socket name uh, and it has an uh, interactable type, which can be like a weapon or a door or something else. So we have that information now. So putting it on the interactable makes it uh, accessible from the weapon also. And if you can't see it uh, once you switch to the weapon, it's usually because this one needs to be ticked show inherited variables. So that shows the interactable info. So on top of the interactable info on the weapon, we want to add uh, weapon specific information. So let's create another um, in our structure. So uh, yes. No, actually, let's create another enumeration and call this uh, weapon type. We need this in a second. All right, so this one, we will just make a none first. Oop. And then we will add a rifle. And the reason for adding a rifle in general is that um, Probably all rifles are being generally held the same way, so, but let's okay, okay, also add, for example, a knife to uh, weapon types. So we have something uh, to begin off with. Oops. All right. So uh, that's uh, the weapon info. So we want to add a variable to our weapon here, containing the weapon info. And give that a type of uh, weapon type like this. All right. So the neat thing about this is that uh, if we come to our rifle now, uh, we also have access to this uh, weapon info. And um, on our rifle, um, we don't have anything right now. Um, but we will soon have something by going into our base character and checking our event graph. Uh, we have this um, interact function here. So if you remember from one of the previous videos, uh, we made this interact call and when interact is uh, intercepted by um, a, a weapon it will call the equip so in the case of the weapon i think i put it in here maybe i did maybe on the weapon interact oh um i think i put it here uh, weird I don't see it. Anyway, let's just make it uh, in that case. All right. So um, yeah, let's actually just make this. Uh, all right. Um, so when we interact with something, uh, whatever is highlighted, we will in interact with. And uh, going to the rifle. We can now implement event uh, interact like this. So, and whenever uh, interact is called, we want to um, uh, instead of uh, just interacting in general, we want to um, equip something. Um, so, it, from the instigator, uh, equip. We don't have anything called equip. So let's check if we have anything in our in, in here. We don't have anything called equip. So we'll just add another function 
inside here. And it will take uh, into the title and type interactable like this. So the reason I'm calling this an interactable and not a specifically a weapon is that this could be something you could maybe equip like a head or something. Uh, so if you pick that up or equip clothing or whatever. Um, so to keep this general, I, I'm keeping also the the base class as in interactable here. So let's save this and go back to our rifle where we are trying to call this function. So um, equip we want to call. We want to make, make a message call. So um, this is done by, by our rifle. Actually we should have put this inside the weapon because all weapons will equip. So that was a mistake. Sorry about that. Just quickly put it in here. Inside the weapon. Like that. Alright. So if I decide to the means if I yeah <clears throat> if I decide to make a new weapon based off the weapon class, it will automatically be able to call this equip method. So um, that's very nice. So what is happening here is we are calling interact on when I press a certain key and uh, maybe I should move this down a little bit so it's easier to see what's going on. So once uh, returning down here, we want to say, okay, uh, if something is calling equip, um, uh, the one event equip from I interactable, we want to do something. And um, as always, I will make a function so I don't have things floating around. I will make this do equip function and it will take whatever um, parameter like interactable as usual uh, this and turning to the event graph and calling it from here like this all right so um, what we want to do inside our equip function um, that's what, what we are going to do next now. Um, let's see. Um, I'm missing something. Sorry. Uh, I just need to check something. All right. I think I got it. Um, yes. So, uh, first of all, we don't have a, uh, a variable to keep this information, so let's add that. Uh, equip item. That's what we want. And it's going to be not uh, this one. An interactable and um, since this one is coming in we want to set it um, no actually we want to do something else we because this is a function and this is probably going to be a little bit long um, we want to make um, a local variable to keep this interactable so I'll just make a local uh, interactable here and we will set this up. So this is just normal initialization and um, yeah let, let's keep this for now uh, I will add the rest afterwards um, so The next thing we want to do here is to set this equipped item so that we know that now we are carrying this equipped item. So this is actually what uh, uh, saving a reference to our gun that we just picked up. 
So the next thing uh, to, to do is to, because I want this eventually to be a physics object uh, that we can drop and it drops to the floor, uh, I will start off by setting this to simulate simulate physics for the mesh um, like this. Uh, no, not this one. Uh, for our equipped um, local interactable get and then the static mesh get. And then set this not to simulate physics anymore. And the reason for this is that if it's still simulating physics when we later on pay, uh, in, uh, when we uh, attach it to our character, uh, it, it doesn't really attach. So this is just to make sure that this is uh, set off. And then if we have collision on, we also want to set uh, remove collision. So drag this one in again, and we'll set and uh, enable collision to off all right so finally we are ready to attach the actor to component it's called okay so the target is um, our local uh, interactable our, um, our gun we want to attach that to the mesh of our player, which is dragged right down here. And we want to attach that to the socket. Um, but since we uh, don't carry that information in here, we will have to add that. And I'll do that in a moment. So one other thing we need to set is to set the snap to target, keep local world space, and just leave this one on. So. Uh, that's actually what we need for now, yeah. Right, so we need to expand this do equip with another uh, information and that will be the uh, in interactable info. So, make it interactable info. And, um, yeah, to avoid all these long uh, spaghetti lines, I will make uh, a local variable for this. Uh, local interactable info, like this. Set, root, drag it in, hook it up, make it up here, and plug it in, Oop, wrong type. There we go. Like that. So now we're pretending that we have that value and we'll be able to drag this one in here, get, and we can uh, split the struct and inside here we have this um, socket thing that we uh, want to point this to. Okay, and uh, this one we don't need for anything really, so it doesn't really matter for now. Um, we'll just save this and compile. So uh, um, what we need to do next is to make sure that this f uh, function do equip is being fed the, um, the right information. And we have that in the event graph here. So we need to expand the equip um, function here. So uh, inside our interface, I will add a new um, variable to this called into Actable info. Okay, so let's compile this and save and see if we have this one now. So I'll, I can now drag this one in. So, granted that the, if the caller is supplying this information, then we have access to this uh, inside our do equip. So, uh, since the caller is our weapon, um, event interact. Uh, I may need to refresh this one. No. Uh, anyway, um, the interactable info we have on the 
on the weapon here. So let's set that like this. And uh, if we click on this and say, okay, what, what are our uh, values here? We will set the socket name for the M. No, not actually this one. Sorry, uh, my bad. We'll do this on the rifle. So on the rifle, interactable info, we will set the socket name specifically to M4A11 socket, like this. So now this information should be carried from the rifle all the way to the uh, to our player so that once we hit equip it will be called back once we uh, in up once we interact with it it should jump to eventually to the rifle um, via the weapon here and uh, it should set this um, um, interactable info uh, so sorry um, I just need to set self here a reference to self I think I need this one um, let's see I have a feeling I'm missing something uh, all right it, it did actually work so so now it's he's holding it in his hand and it's kind of looking silly because he's just walking with it down his side so that's because we haven't really coded anything else to control his post yet. So um, yeah, let's take a look at it in the next episode. And um, thank you for now. And see you in the next video. Bye.